Welcome to Culture Alley Mandarin. Ni hao. This is Basic Mandarin Lesson 16. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that you learned in the last lesson. One translates to e. Two becomes r. Three is san. Four will be s. Five is u. Six is translated as liu. Seven becomes qi. Eight will be ba. Nine is jiu. And finally, ten translates to shi. Great! Now let's take a look at numbers 11 through 19. The general rule for Mandarin numbers 11 to 19 is place plus the number. Therefore, we see that 11, which is 10 and 1, becomes 十一. 12, that is 10 and 2, becomes 十二. 15, or 10 and 5, becomes 十五. 17, which is 10 and 7, translates as 十七. 18, or 10 and 8, becomes 十八. And finally, 19, that is 10 and 9, becomes 十九. Great! Let's take a look at numbers beyond 19. The rule for Mandarin numbers beyond 19 is numbers plus place for numbers ending in zero, and numbers plus place plus number for other numbers. Let's review them once. 20, which is 2 and 10, translates to 二十. 30, that is 3 and 10, becomes 三十. 50, or 5 and 10, becomes 五十. 21 breaks up to 2, 10, and 1, translating to 二十一. While 36, or 3, 10, and 6, becomes 三十六. Lastly, 55 is 5, 10, and 5, becoming 五十五. Wonderful! Now let's review some phrases that we've covered as well. How much does it cost? Translates to 多少钱? While how much is it becomes 多少? This is ten dollars translates as 这个十美元. While this is eighteen yuan is 这个十八块. Similarly, this is twenty yen is translated as 这是二十日元. And finally, this is sixty dollars will be 这个六十美元. All right, now let's see what we will learn today. Today, we will have a look at expressions of time. We will now learn how to ask or tell time and some other time-related expressions, such as, what time is it? It's five o'clock, etc. Let's start by learning how to ask time in Mandarin. Let's see how we say, what time is it now?
and learn the vocabulary for the same. The measure word for time is dian, and it is pronounced using a falling, rising tone, like dian. Great. Clock translates to jong, which is pronounced using a high-level tone, like jong. Now becomes xian zai. Xian zai uses a falling tone on both a's. Remember that x carries a sh sound in Mandarin. Can you try saying xian zai? Very good. As we already know, how many translates to ji and uses a falling, rising tone. In Mandarin, the literal translation of "What time is it now?" becomes "Now how many time," which, along with the measure word, becomes "Now how many?" Measure word time. Let's see the word-by-word -word breakup of "What time is it now?" Now translates to "Xian zai." How many becomes "Ji." The measure word is. Dian and clock is jong. Thus, what time is it now? Translates to xian zai ji dian jong. Let's try saying that again. It's xian zai ji dian jong. That literally means now how many time. Now that we know how to ask time, let's take a look at how to read time. For this, we need to take a look at the vocabulary we learned before. The measure word for time will be dian, while clock becomes jong, and finally now becomes xian zai. To understand the answer format of the sentence. We must see the question structure first. Since we know that the structure for question is "now how many time" and in Mandarin the answer comes where the interrogative lies, our answer simply replaces the interrogative and becomes "now dash measure word time." Thus, the literal way of reading time in Mandarin is "now dash measure word o'clock." Let's take a look at a few sentences to substantiate this. Let's have a look at word-by-word -word translation of "now time measure word o'clock." Now translates to "xian zai." Then the time will be told in Mandarin. Measure word for time, as always, is "dian," and clock becomes "jong." Thus, it's o'clock now will become xian zai blank dian zhong, literally meaning now time measure word clock. Note that it's is not actually translated while reading time in Mandarin, as the word now takes its place. Let's take a look at some examples. It's eleven o'clock. Now translates as "xian zai shi yi dian zhong." Can you try and say that? It's "xian zai shi yi dian zhong." Very good. Now let's look at "it's three o'clock now." It's three o'clock now. Is translated as "xian zai san dian zhong," literally meaning "now three measure word clock." Great. Let's look at another one. It's twelve o'clock now. Will become "xian zai shi er dian zhong." Literally implying now twelve measure word clock. Here's another phrase: 
It's one o'clock now. Becomes, 现在一点钟 Literally meaning now one measure word clock. Very good. Now let's take the sentence. It's two o'clock. Here we shall say two as liang, and not as er, as we learned before. Two translates to liang, which is pronounced using a falling, rising tone. Here's an interesting tip for you: liang is used to say two in front of common measure words or words that express a quantity. Thus, we use the word. Liang and not are before the measure word dian. So let's see how we say it's two o'clock. It's two o'clock now translates as 现在两点钟 Literally meaning it's two o'clock now, or now, time, measure word clock. Did you notice that we've put "jong" or "o'clock" in brackets in the last slide? This is because we have the option of omitting the word "o'clock" from our translation. This is the same as saying "it's three" instead of saying "it's three o'clock," just like in English. Let's make it clearer by taking a few examples. For example, "it's five now" can be translated as "xian zai." As you can see, we've omitted "jong" in this case, literally converting the sentence to "now five" measure word. Let's take another one. "It's seven now" becomes "xian zai qi dian." So the literal meaning becomes "now seven" measure word. Next, we have the phrase. It's nine now. It's nine now is translated as 现在九点 Literally, it translates to now nine measure word. Similarly, it's eight now will become 现在八点 Literally, becoming now time measure word. Great! Study Mandarin at your own pace using awesome audiovisual lessons at CultureAlley.com. See you at the alley. All right, it's quiz time. Let's see if you remember what we've learned today. What is the measure word for time? Do you think it's zhong, or is it dian, or could it be? 十一 The measure word for time is 点 Hope you got it right. How do we say it's two o'clock now? Do we say 现在十一点钟 Or does it become 现在二点钟 Or does it become 现在两点钟 The correct answer is 现在两点钟 How did you do there? I'm sure you got that right. Great, we have seen how to read time. We can now read expressions like it's two o'clock, it's five, etc. Now let's see how to read exact time and learn a few more expressions of time, like it's five minutes after three, it's three minutes after eleven, etc. For this, we will have to learn some vocabulary. So let's start. Minutes translates to fun and is pronounced with a high-level tone. Here's a quick grammar tip for you. Ling. Pronounced in a mid-rising tone, has a lot of meanings. For our purposes, ling means zero, 
and is used before single-digit numbers while talking of minutes. While writing single-digit numbers, we write them as 0, 5, 0, 7, etc. Let's take an example. Let's translate, it's five minutes after three. It literally becomes, now, three, measure word, five minutes. Here's the breakup of the sentence. Now translates to, xian zai. Three becomes, san. Measure word inserted here is, dian. Zero becomes ling. Five translates to wu. And minutes is translated as fun. It's five minutes after three is translated as xian zai san dian ling wu fun. Literally becoming now, three o'clock, zero five minutes. In Mandarin, it may be helpful to look at time as if one is reading it out of a digital clock. We read time as it appears in front of us, thus, three o five p.m. literally becomes now three measure word zero five minutes. Let us now see the word by word translation of the sentence. It's three minutes after eleven. Now translates to xian zai. Eleven becomes shi yi. Measure word will be dian. Zero is translated as ling. Three is san. And finally, Minutes becomes fun. Thus, it's three minutes after eleven is translated as xian zai shi yi dian ling san fun. We know that it literally becomes now eleven o'clock and three minutes. Let's try another phrase. It's seven minutes after eleven. Here's the breakup. Now translates to xian zai. Seven is qi. Measure word used here is dian. Eleven becomes shi yi. And finally, minutes will be fun. Thus, it's eleven minutes after seven will become xian zai qi dian shi yi fun. Literally meaning now, seven o'clock, and eleven minutes. Note that the word meaning zero or ling is only used for single digit numbers. Thus, it is not used for numbers ten onwards. Let's take a look at one more example. Now translates to xian zai. Eight becomes ba. Measure word used here is dian. Twenty translates to er shi. And minutes will be fun. Thus, it's twenty minutes after eight is translated as xian zai ba dian er shi fun. Literally meaning now eight o'clock twenty minutes. Note that twenty is not a single digit number, so we need not add zero or ling before it while reading time. Hope you got that concept now. All right, it's time for another quiz. Let's see if you remember. How do we say 11 minutes in Mandarin? Do we say it as 十一分? Or do you think it is 三分? Or could it be 
五分。Eleven minutes translates to 十一分 in Mandarin. Moving on, how do we say six minutes in Mandarin? Do we say it as 零九分 or 九零分 or 零六分 The correct answer is 零六分 Very good. We are done for the day. Let's review the phrases we learned today. What time is it now? Translates to, 现在几点钟 It's eleven o'clock now. Becomes, 现在十一点钟 It's three o'clock now. Will be, 现在三点钟 It's twelve o'clock now. Becomes, 现在十二点钟 Good. It's one o'clock now. Is, 现在一点钟 It's two o'clock now. Will be, 现在两点钟 It's five minutes after three. Is translated as, 现在三点零五分 And it's three minutes after eleven becomes, 现在十一点零三分 Excellent. Now let's review some more phrases. It's five now. Will become, 现在五点 It's seven now. Will be, 现在七点 It's nine now becomes 现在九点 It's eight now translates to 现在八点 Moving on, it's five minutes after three. Is 现在三点零五分 It's three minutes after eleven becomes, 现在十一点零三分 It's eleven minutes after seven translates as, 现在七点十一分 And. It's twelve minutes after eight. Will be, 现在八点十二分 Very good. All right, it's time for the culture leaf of the day. Today we will learn about mahjong. After decades of being banned. Mahjong, a game that originated in China itself, is regaining popularity once more with men and women alike. Similar to the Western card game rummy, mahjong is a game of skill, strategy, and calculation, and involves a certain degree of chance. One of the myths of the origin of mahjong suggests that Confucius, the Chinese philosopher, developed the game in about 500 B.C. The myth also claims that Confucius was fond of birds, which would explain the name mahjong, where ma chui means sparrow. The three dragon tiles agree with the three cardinal virtues bequeathed by Confucius, representing benevolence, security, filial piety. The image here shows the three dragon tiles in the order. The left one represents benevolence. The middle one, sincerity. And the right one, filial piety. 
In the next lesson, we shall learn about daily expressions of time such as today, tomorrow, and more. Hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one. Learn Mandarin with awesome audio visual lessons, interactive quizzes, and games. Find coaches from China and learn live over Skype. Just visit culturealley.com. See you at the alley.